We're Kenny and Zoltan, two scientists on a mission in Vietnam. Our goal is to collect toxin samples from as many venomous snakes as possible. You can have life-saving medications which is used in cancer pain, heart failure and so on. Zoltan's looking for snakes. Oh, yeah. I want to find out how people live with so many of them. This is not the honeymoon for us, this is work. Snake, snake, snake. Work we love to do. The snakes can kill oh. Snake! He's on it. That's that's Zoltan. Snake! Awesome, absolutely, absolutely awesome. Whoa, see that. Get it! You got it! <laughs> oh my god! Zoltan and I are on a life or death mission. There's a paralyzed snake bite victim in desperate need of anti-venom, and we might be the only people in Vietnam who can save him. There is absolutely no way this one can wait. You know, we have to give the anti-venom right away. The anti-venom is being rushed in from Bangkok, so we're headed to the airport to pick it up. He was bit quite a while ago. Kind of every minute counts. I really hope it works. Bangkok just landed. We got it, we got it, we got it. In this case, anti-venom has the best chance of working within 72 hours of the snake bite. Otherwise, the man can end up paralyzed or dead. Literally, this person's life can depend, you know, I mean, how much time we're wasting here in traffic. This expedition started out as a quest to find venomous snakes and meet the people who live with them. So how did we end up in a race against time, trying to save a man's life? We're on the last leg of a two-week expedition in Vietnam, hunting snakes. We're in a small village 60 kilometers north of Hanoi. Zoltan and I are after two of the world's deadliest snakes, the Chinese cobra and the crate. So Zoltan can take tissue samples that may be used to help create new medications. My main goal here is to collect as many toxin samples as possible. By extracting that information, you can have a drug. Life-saving medications which is used in heart attack, in diabetes, cancer pain, heart failure, and so on. Whether you like snakes or not, actually using the secret of the snake to save your life. Come. Snake egg, it's a cobra egg, right in the street. Did someone uh, make an omelet and drop their snake egg? Hello. Hello, I'm Kenny. According to local sources, over 80% of the residents breed snakes to sell as food and to make medicine. Great stuff, I can smell the snakes. Ask them what they think of the big guy. Who's funnier looking? He said like you have a monkey hair. A monkey hair? How about this? <laughs> Joining us is a team from National Geographic magazine doing a story about venom. Snake Village, here we come. It's a dream assignment. What I'm trying to do is visualize Zoltan's work, the anthropology and natural history. I have a new assistant, Bella. Snake Bella. But she's very inexperienced and she hasn't been with me in the field. It has happened before that people haven't made it. I mean, it's a lot of pressure. We've got a big team. The magazine folks, translators, local fixers. Sampling snakes is dangerous in a crowd, so Zoltan is heading off on his own. I'm from a socialist country, and the socialist system told me that most of the things what you do in a group is not really good. Hello. Run. Run. This is pretty cool. Any house, we just, you know, crash in randomly, they have snakes. There are 100,000 species of venomous animals in nature. And these 100,000 species have an estimated 20 million toxins. 20 million. Only 500 or so of that 20 million has been studied in detail by science. 
But that 500 toxins give us 12 different medications. Snake. But actually using this snake species to feed the king cobra with. If you truly a snake village here. I like to travel alone. I really like to explore. We are traveling with a group of 16, 17 people. It doesn't matter how nice you try to be, it will be never that kind of, you know, one-on-one -on -one relationship. I find someone to let me sample snakes, but not live snakes. This is the great cobra. Snakes soaked in rice wine. The locals use it to improve health and virility. This is the snake chain wine. You just don't know what you can find in these jars. But, you know, once in a while, you really find some real rarity. This is the crate. What I'm gonna do is just clip a little bit of, from the tail. These snakes are long dead, so they don't mind it. And this tissue has enough DNA inside, you know, from which you can clone actually the toxins. It's always best to sample live snakes, but this is not a bad start. We're heading into a house full of live snakes. <laughs> Matias can get some shots for his magazine piece. Watch your head. And hopefully Zoltan will find a crate or Chinese cobra. Ooh, ooh. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys, so these are highly venomous snakes. These snakes, they can bite, but they, some of them, not all of them, but some of them, they also can spit the venom. And if it gets to the eye, it, it's, it's going to be really a problematic encounter. Please use glasses or, or, or some kind of eye protection whenever you are close with the snakes. If any bite happens, we immediately go back to the hospital in Hanoi. Uh, I'm allergic to the snake venom and my EpiPen is in my um, camera bag and Kenny knows how to use them. Good luck. I believe in safety in numbers. <laughs> I'm just one of 17. Has he ever been spit on by eye? Yeah, also eye and face. Well, he's missing a finger. One, two, three, four, right? <laughs> So actually the snake venom is digested the tissues of the finger, so he had no choice. They had to remove his finger. It just shows, you know, that this is not a playground here. All right, so I would like to take a picture outside when he's taking out a cobra. Uh, he said that um, for the king cobra, they're very expensive. And if they, you disturb them, they can stop eating for like a week or two. So, oh. so he said that... Oh, so he never handles them? And he said that five million to two hundred and fifty dollars. I have to be upfront here. I have have to be up front. Yep. Oh, that's uh... because 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 the it's the big risk for his snakes. It's not actually. He said, that's no, it's he not said. a problem. But it's a good way to make money. I would never pay two hundred fifty bucks mm -hmm. for somebody to pick up a cobra that he picks up every day. Sorry. He would have become a big star. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Then let's go. Then we're done. We have to sacrifice some images here, and this is a sacrifice, in my opinion. That you're mad about? Sure. Okay. Yeah. We invading their their space, and they got things to do, and yeah. especially they handle and poison the snakes. Oh, they don't care yeah, about being famous. As they they need the money yeah. for their day 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 to day life. Very invasive. Very, very invasive. Yeah. 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 No. First place was a bust. On the way to the next snake house, we meet a retired snake catcher who had a run-in with a cobra 40 years ago. What was he doing when he was bit? He was catching the snake at catching that moment. Him. After one week, his hand uh, got a gangrene. We're actually standing on the top of snake cages, you know, and underneath our feet, we have nothing else, just cobras and king cobras. So he needs to, yeah, grab it by the tail and then get, no, get up, stand, stand up. There's no really warning sign, they can just sort of open up the mud a little bit and they can spit the venom. Wow. No, I need to do, yeah, but I need to. Towards me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he spat on my lens. This one is a spitting one. He spat on my fingers, yeah. 
and you have to clean. You have spit cobra venom all over the uh, lance hood, and and you have to be really careful now, Bella, because if you get if you have a wound on your fingers and you clean this, it's not good for you at all. So you have to have gloves, really. All right, I don't okay. have gloves. You don't have gloves. Where are your where are your gloves? I didn't bring gloves. Oh, sh okay. We need gloves. I thought she would deliver, but then she dropped one flash. She forgot things, and I've been increasingly concerned. Yes, I'm such a rookie. I get really, really good at it when I do stuff wrong, and it kills me. But I'm um, still alive. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, well. Here's when you actually see the venom, the drops of venom here on the lens. Yeah, this is a patch of venom right here. So um, that sucks. So I would say we, we have to reshoot or continue to shoot. What we have here is obviously useless. Anyway, I'm hitting the sack. See you tomorrow. Yep. People in the village told us that the most serious snake bite victims come to this hospital. We want to see firsthand the effects venom can have on the body. So we are in a Bakhmay hospital in Hanoi. This is the place where people coming after being bitten by a snake. This is the, the top snake bite treatment center in North Vietnam. The most critical cases are in the intensive care unit. This is amazing what you see here. This guy looks like he, he was bitten by a snake, and you can see that he cannot move any part of his body. He's in total paralysis, and he is on artificial ventilation. His name is Khan Van Thun. He's only 20 years old and was bitten while he was asleep. Three friends of mine passed away from snake bites, including one bitten by a crate. I mean, it's, this is really, really scary situation. Yeah, it looks very serious. It looks very serious. Is this a bungarus where you actually have an anti-venom? You don't have anti-venom anti for this patient? We have to get this guy anti-venom, even if it means putting our entire expedition on hold. Zoltan and I are seeing the tragic side of venom. Khan Van Thun's family watches anxiously as he fights for his life. The tiny little amount of snake venom gets into the body and just completely paralyzes. I mean, that just shows how potent and, 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 and dangerous those toxins inside that venom. Unfortunately, they do not have any anti-venom to save this patient's life. If he would receive anti-venom, he could just walk out in a couple days from this hospital absolutely healthy. Sadly, anti-venom for crate bites is still being tested in Vietnam and not yet available. So we have put him in the ventilation, and I think maybe three or four weeks or more. Just imagine, you know, how much uh, stress for the, for the body mm -hmm. to be kept in this hospital condition. You see, this is very interesting because this person is absolutely conscious. He knows what's going on around here. He actually can hear us talking. I've been bitten, unfortunately, a number of times by snakes. My mother was in a similar situation like her. So, it's, it's really, you know, it, I, I feel it very close. We gotta do something to help this guy, even if we have to find anti-venom ourselves. We have a very serious issue here. I'm calling from Vietnam and we have a, a, a snake bite patient and we would like to have anti-venom uh, picked up in, uh, in, in Bangkok and, and shipped to Hanoi as soon as possible. All right, so they, they have the antivenom. 
um, the fastest way would be if somebody just picks it up and, and brings over here. We need to move fast. In this case, anti-venom will work best within three days. This guy was bitten two days ago. By mailing, it would take five days. So right now we have to find someone who would hand carry the anti-venom from Bangkok all the way to Hanoi. The clock is ticking for this patient, but the good news is that we already started the whole process. While we wait to hear about the anti-venom, we're gonna keep looking for snakes to sample. But first, we're grabbing lunch. Some people have the nerve of actually wanting to eat on this trip, which we've about had it with those people. We got bamboo sprouts, we got morning glory. No, that's tongue, pink tongue. Tofu with tomato sauce. And obviously they also have some dog meat here. I'm not really a, a fan of dog meat, so I skip my meal today. We're ordering tofu, not dog, but Zoltan still doesn't trust the place. Maybe they need a little bit of grease or whatever, you know, like a seasoning, and they just get it from the dog, and that's what ends up in your chicken soup, so. They, they serve Hungarian goulash across the street. Zoltan's over there. It's better than the dog meat. Any news? In an expedition like this one, you have lots of things going parallel. But right now, for me, the most important is making sure that this antivenom gets here as quickly as possible and we can deliver to his doctors as quickly as possible. Uh, she's... So he, what, what? he tried to, to send uh, the fly on to 130, uh -huh. but uh, the time is already... Too short. Too, too short. Okay, didn't make it in that 130 flight. Um, he didn't? He did not. So, next flight is at 6 o'clock leaving Bangkok. They apparently had issues with the short time and that it's liquid. I mean, this is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Well, I'm still very happy that, you know, the antivenom is at the airport waiting to be loaded. Uh, and six o'clock, there's another flight. Yeah, it's like jeopardizing this man's life. Nice to meet you. We're hoping the antivenom makes the next flight, but we still need to find snakes. So we're meeting with the traditional snake catcher who may be able to help us find a Chinese cobra. He's 63 years old and he learned from his father and his father's father was also a snake hunter. And this guy's professional. So he's looking for holes. These snakes, they like to hide. Barehanded and barefooted, sir. This is impressive. Snakes are a commodity used for food and medicine. Every snake has money in his pocket. He catches 300 snakes a year. 300 snakes a year. That's practically, you know, close to one snake a day. And he has never been bitten. Okay, skin. You find the snake skin. Oh, I love it. And you actually can get DNA from it. And, you know, believe it or not, you can get azo, the toxin, out from the skin. Well, we definitely, we are in the right place. And, you know, we are proceeding very, very well. I love it. This is like a real hunt. Ah, a little muddy. But I'm a bit pissed. The thing is, we'd really like him to find a snake, obviously. If you want to relocate, we can drive, we can walk. He said you follow him. Yeah. 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 It's been hours. This guy was supposed to be a sure thing, but we're all starting to wonder. While Zoltan chases snakes, I want to learn from a village elder how snakes are used in the local culture. We're heading to this gentleman's house who's been watching us wait for the snakes, and he's been insistent, insistent, insistent upon visiting his house. Getting there is half the fun. That's like a sobriety test. <laughs> As an anthropologist, I try to take part in local customs. As long as they're legal, it's just tobacco.
Oh, I can feel my head like spinning. Oh. Oh. Have things Sorry. changed about the number of snakes that they used to see when he oh, was yeah. a young boy? Yeah, mm -hmm. because so many people were like catching snakes, so that's the reason why there are not many snakes around. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said like when they catch the snake, they sell it to a far, far away place. Right. But the same story that we've heard, unfortunately, that fewer and fewer snakes around, and everyone says the reason is more and more people catching them, and they're being sent to a faraway land, which, you know, from everything we've seen and heard, that's China. Shall we dance across the bridge and see where the rest of our group is? I hope they uh, found some snakes. Is he going to smoke? Yeah. Oh, he's taking a break. No snakes so far. Not yet. Well, we haven't seen anything today, but the guy looks like that he knows what he's doing. So... Okay. Flash number two. <laughs> and Mbella dropped one flash, but then... She dropped two. She dro she drowned one flash. That has never actually happened to me. I've never had an assistant dropping two flash units. Just wipe it off. It's not at all waterproof. That's the a little dilemma for us. We don't have an infinite number of stuff with us. She has to get her act together. I think it's move on and A for effort. <laughs> Tired. It's been six hours and still nothing. This is his first time he never find a snake on a day. This guy says there's one last place he wants to look. What is that? Hey. Snake yeah. trap? Yeah. You can see it, yeah. I mean, you can see some scales here. I can see the detail, but I'm a little bit skeptical. I don't know how much is, is maybe with the shovel. <laughs> Snake, 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 This is awesome. Absolutely, absolutely awesome. You know, we started to give up our hopes, but this guy amazingly was able to pick up the snake track from under the ground. This is, uh, hopefully, has been worth the wait. Now it, the job starts to really do it justice when he pulls it out. Ready for action. Okay, watch your eyes. Oh, boy. Thanks. Slow, 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 slow. Finally, a Chinese cobra. This is one of the snakes Zoltan's been waiting to sample. Very nice. Very, 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 very nice. Boy, can it come towards? You have to move. All of you move, and he, and he has to. You have to be close to me. As soon as Matthias gets his shots. And he has to. You have to come on. Come down. Okay. And you have, and then towards his body. Tao, get out of the way. It's okay. No, it's not okay. This is beautiful. This is such a unique situation. Hey, he spat out my fingers. Yeah. Okay, wash it down. Yeah. Wash it. Do you have water? What's this? My fingers. Thanks. Ready for action. Here we see the technique. That's very cool. Are we going to sample from this snake? Yeah. He's holding it up. You want a silhouette? I might see him. This is, this is amazing. He's he stuffs it down to his, in his yes. underpants. In his underpants. Snakes in the pants. It's really hard to excite me, but I'm, uh, you can see how happy I am. Well, the cobra is just kind of freely moving in the bag. I mean, why not bite him? Uh, <laughs> crazy. After this grueling day, we get bad news. 
Seems that the snake catcher got an offer he can't refuse. He's selling the snake right away and Zoltan won't get to sample it after all. The word is already back in, in, to the village and the trader will come to meet with him here. Zoltan's pretty disappointed. We're walking away empty-handed and we still need to find a crate and a Chinese cobra to sample. Finally, we get a call about the anti-venom. It's on the flight. Yeah, it's on the flight. Are you sure? Very, very good. Very, very good, Tao. So what, what, just please find out what time the airplane is landing at Hanoi, and we will be there. OK, so it's on the aircraft. Very, very good. Absolutely, absolutely awesome. Heading to the airport to pick up the anti-venom. Okay, so at nine o'clock the plane is landing, yes. and the director knows that we're coming, right? Yes. And he will be at the hospital. Yes. I already contacted with patient mother. He said uh, uh, you told her. Yeah, yeah. Can but but, 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 but you should be very careful. Yeah. I know your excitement, but you know we in case the anti-venom doesn't work. We don't want to be the bad person. It's maybe already too late. We don't want to raise the expectations too high and, and, you know, God forbid they will be disappointed. We got it, we got it, we got it. Literally, this person's life can depend, you know, I mean, how much time we're wasting here in traffic. We get to the hospital with the anti-venom that Zoltan and I hope will save Khan Ban Thun's life. But it's been three days since he was bitten. We have 10 vials here. I'm sure he knows it. Time is very important here. The antivenom should neutralize the toxins attacking Ken Van Thun's body. But in this case, it's most effective within three days, and we're just about at the limit. It's very important that I understand that this may not work, but we're trying to do our best. And there's definitely no guarantee. There's a lot of uncertainty. You see the young kid lying there. I just hope it's going to work. It just opened the line to start the drip. Four consultations with with a top snake bite expert came to the conclusion that this person needs between two to four vials of antivenom over 60 minutes. Really, it's just a waiting game. Oh, it's good, 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 good. It's the sign we were waiting all day. He definitely shows signs of, of recovering from the paralysis. You know, he can move a little bit his fingers, his toes. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm just so happy. People got very excited. 
we gave him the right medicine. I just hope, hope tomorrow morning we get a call and we come in and he's sitting up on his bed with a big thumbs up sign. It will take several hours to know if the devastating effects of the venom are reversed. All we can do now is wait and see. haven't sampled a wild Chinese cobra or crate. The plan is to leave Hanoi and go snake hunting today. Our expedition has two days left, time's running out. What's the deal with the forest? But we have a problem. Who wants to say that we can't go through the forest? We were supposed to go yesterday, and our government minder isn't so open to schedule changes. No, 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 Zotan, it is uh, very, very important for me. I said too many times that before doing, going, filming where and go to somewhere, please tell me the name and locations and I make the paperwork, I get permit and everything is uh, fun, is uh, okay. It's not on the list, it doesn't okay, exist. I, I think it's on the list, but it's not on for today. This is ridiculous. I mean, we cannot do the story. We have a list of things that we wanted to do. We have an authorization to go to certain things on the list. Nature doesn't work that way. We had a dying patient last night and we didn't know uh, that that would happen, and we grabbed that opportunity. We actually might have even saved his life. I know, but uh, now we suddenly leave Hanoi, go to the forest. It is another province. I don't think we can take pictures. I can do the Hungarian trick. You know, we can ask Ho oh, to start to cry on the phone. So, he did not appreciate your joke. <laughs> Beyond my fixing ability. Good to go. Zoltan and I got the okay to go to the forest, as long as we don't take photos. So Matias will have to stay at the hotel and miss out on our last snake hunt of the trip. Tom Dow National Park is 85 kilometers northwest of Hanoi. Chinese cobra and crate live here, and this is our last chance to catch them. Nice, very good habitat for vipers, crates. Looks empty, but there are so many places to try. So this is really, really like playing the lottery. You just gotta move gingerly through the forest. Luckily, my years of ballet training are coming into play right now. The things that can really ruin an expedition are the twist the knee. It's a real pain to get out of a place like this. Twist an ankle. You get bad poke in the eye. But the real worry is a snake bite. We're far from the hospital and Zoltan is highly allergic to venom, so we need to be extremely careful. If anything happens, I have his EpiPen ready. Oh, snake. Snake. Sometimes it's gonna bite. I try to to bite. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. All right, I see. Wow. It's moving. It's moving. Let me get it. Moving, moving. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you guys ready? No, no, no. Wow. All right. I see. Wow. Very, very, very cool though. 
Wow, 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 sir. It's a crate. It's a Bungarus fasciatus. It's a relative of the cobras. It has a very strong neurotoxin. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. This is the same species group which bit that guy in the hospital for whom we get the antivenom from Bangkok. Highly neurotoxic. Wow, this is amazing. Oh, I'm so happy. Wow, Tao, I'm very, very excited. Very, very good. Let's put this safely in the bag. Make it as deep as possible. One, two, three. Snake in the bag. Sir, thank you very much. This is absolutely awesome. This is really, really a great moment. You are a lucky man, sir. I mean, you keep <laughs> seeing the best, you know, what we find in Southeast Asia. I'm really looking forward to sample some of the toxins. In Hanoi, we will extract the tissue samples at the Vietnamese Academy of Sciences, where Dr. Tao is working. Those tissue samples are coming back to the US with me. Sir, I'm so happy. Let's see something. Yes. We weren't allowed to shoot in the forest, so it's time for me and Matthias to pack up and go home. Last day is done. Now it's over. The party is going back. Yeah, I'm done with this. Put it anywhere. I'm, I'll get to Thank it. You. Uh, I think I still have a lot to learn, though if there is a next time. It's the moment of truth. Matthias is either going to ask me to stay on as his assistant or not. You know, when, when you're in the field, things go wrong. And, and Bella dropped one flash. <laughs> then <laughs> she dropped another one. She actually drowned it in the rice field and it just died. Flash number two. I'm like, oh no, would this happen with the other assistants that, you know, are so much better? I was like expecting, you know. Rage. <laughs> I've never really fired an assistant. I've, I've had an assistant that never got the job back, so to speak, afterwards. But, but we'll see. We need to go and have a look at some of the... I want to show you some of this stuff that we have shot, uh, so you can get some feedback on lighting and stuff, mm -hmm. composition. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like crap in here, but... <laughs> I know. I don't know. It's okay. You see how the flash... It's that. So it's like, oh, why didn't we see this? But here, I changed the composition because I noticed it. We have some really good shots. Uh, in spite of all the trials and tribulations we've gone through <laughs> in these two weeks, we I think we pretty much nailed it. I know Matthias was frustrated with me at times, but he said I've improved, and I know that he believes in me. I just hope it's enough. Cool. So, Bella, what do you think? Uh, uh, are you now are you done with field work? If I ask you again, if I say, hey, we have an assignment in Congo, we have an assignment in the Amazon, are you up for it? Definitely. You are? Yeah. She's field worthy, she's, she's stable. She's, uh, she's doing a great job. I'm, I'm actually very proud of her. I mean, she's doing a great job. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Zoltan and I take the live crate back to Dr. Tao's office for sampling. The more we learn about this snake, the more people can be helped. So right now the trick is to find uh, the heart. Of course, in snakes, you don't really see the blood vessels from, from outside through the skin. So one of the easiest ways to get tissue sample is directly from the heart. It sounds scary, but this is actually a, a very normal and accepted procedure to sample snakes. Well, that's it. Right there. Right there. Right there. I see it. That's it. And just yeah, hold it in your hand. And can you watch the head? Just watch it. Don't touch the tube. And if you see coming too close to my hand, just let me know. We've seen some serious snake bites. Zoltan's allergy means he could die within minutes from this crate. This snake feels a little too close for comfort. It's, it's coming nice. 
honestly. The sampling process is actually the transition between the field and the lab. We are extracting the tissue samples and this is the tube which will travel back to the US with me to the lab. This sample is full of dangerous toxins, but the more Zoltan learns about them, the more he can help save lives. All you need is a couple hundred microliter of, of blood. From there, you can isolate the DNA and the DNA contains the blueprint for the toxin. So this is actually the very reason why we are even here. To put the snake to the back. Dr. Tao is going to return this snake to the forest, far from many people. We estimate that there are 20 million toxins in nature. Only 500 of those has been studied in detail, but that 500 gave us 12 different medications. We just finished the sampling from the snake, but this is not an ending. This is a beginning of a new chapter. All right, so we have this one. The expedition is almost over. But before we leave, there's one more person we need to see. I think this will be one of the most critical moments in our expedition. We've been here a couple days before, and um, we've seen a patient bitten by a crate, and hopefully antivenom has saved his life. Yeah, I feel like butterflies in my stomach see how he's doing. Let's, let's go see what's going on. Yeah, vamos. It's getting painful moments. We're waiting to find out what's happening, but uh, the doctor should arrive to escort us into the, to the patient. I feel like, you know, I, I went for a medical diagnostic test and I'm not just coming to, to, to hear the results. Hey, okay. nice to see you again. I'm you too. very, very excited to yeah. come back here. I'm very happy to see you again. Do you want to see this? Yeah. Definitely. Okay. This, this. Wow. <laughs> this is absolutely, absolutely amazing. <laughs> This is absolutely awesome. This is the highlight of our trip. I mean, to 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 save his life, yeah. and uh, uh, yeah. or I should say, we we contributed because you guys are actually who saved his life. But you know, contributing to saving his life, and uh, and 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 seeing the venom and the anti-venom action working in front of our eyes. It's just absolutely amazing. Are you happy how it was? I'm very happy. You know, I'm very happy. Also I, they, they yeah. Very happy. He is reacting. He's regaining the, the functions. You know, his, the communication between his nerve and muscle cells are, are, are getting back to normal. This is just an absolutely amazing sight and it's just the best example of, of how much modern medicine can make a difference. I uh, just feel so happy for him to see his mother. I, I don't know what to say, but I really want to say thank you because you, you have him and our family to have the drug to save my son's life. Can I, can I come here? <laughs> oh, wow. We get a thank you note, and this is probably one of the most touching thank you notes. <laughs> very, very positive ending. This is so happy moment. So anyway, the second mm. school. <laughs> And uh, they, they, they start. All right, my friend. You come here, and whether you catch, you know, ten snake, a hundred snake, it makes a difference because it helps our research. But we actually saved a person's life here, uh, front of our eyes. So this is an awesome feeling. So thank you very much again. <laughs>
Kenny and Zoltan, two scientists on a mission in Vietnam. Our goal is to collect toxin samples from as many venomous snakes as possible. You can have life-saving medications which is used in cancer pain, heart failure and so on. Zoltan's looking for snakes. Oh, yeah. I want to find out how people live with so many of them. This is not the honeymoon for us, this is work. Snake, snake. Work we love to do. The snakes and kill. Oh. Snake! He's on it. That's that's Zoltan. Snake! Awesome, absolutely, absolutely awesome. Whoa, see that. Get it! You got it! Oh my god! Zoltan and I are on a life or death mission. There's a paralyzed snake bite victim in desperate need of anti-venom, and we might be the only people in Vietnam who can save him. There is absolutely no way this one can wait. You know, we have to give the anti-venom right away. The anti-venom is being rushed in from Bangkok, so we're headed to the airport to pick it up. He was bit quite a while ago. Kind of every minute counts. I really hope it works. Bangkok just landed. We got it. We got it. We got it. In this case, anti-venom has the best chance of working within 72 hours of the snake bite. Otherwise, the man can end up paralyzed or dead. Literally, this person's life can depend, you know, I mean, how much time we're wasting here in traffic. This expedition started out as a quest to find venomous snakes and meet the people who live with them. So how did we end up in a race against time, trying to save a man's life? We're on the last leg of a two-week expedition in Vietnam, hunting snakes. We're in a small village 60 kilometers north of Hanoi. Zoltan and I are after two of the world's deadliest snakes, the Chinese cobra and the crate. So Zoltan can take tissue samples that may be used to help create new medications. My main goal here is to collect as many toxin samples as possible. By extracting that information, you can have a drug. Life-saving medications which is used in heart attack, in diabetes, cancer pain, heart failure, and so on. Whether you like snakes or not, actually using the secret of the snake to save your life. Come. Snake egg, it's a cobra egg, right in the street. Did someone uh, make an omelet and drop their snake egg? Hello. Hello, I'm Kenny. According to local sources, over 80% of the residents breed snakes to sell as food and to make medicine. Great stuff, I can smell the snakes. Ask them what they think of the big guy. Who's funnier looking? He said like you have a monkey's hair. I have monkey hair? How about this? <laughs> Joining us is a team from National Geographic magazine doing a story about venom. Snake Village, here we come. It's a dream assignment. What I'm trying to do is visualize Zoltan's work, the anthropology and natural history. I have a new assistant, Bella. Snake Village. But she's very inexperienced and she hasn't been with me in the field. It has happened before that people haven't made it. I mean, it's a lot of pressure. We've got a big team. The magazine folks, translators, local fixers. Sampling snakes is dangerous in a crowd, so Zoltan is heading off on his own. I'm from a socialist country, and the socialist system told me that most of the things what you do in a group is not really good. Hello. Run. Run. This is pretty cool. Any house, we just, you know, crash in randomly, they have snakes. There are 100,000 species of venomous animals in nature. And these 100,000 species have an estimated 20 million toxins. 20 million. Only 500 or so of that 20 million has been studied in detail by science. 
But that 500 toxins give us 12 different medications. Snake. But actually using this snake species to feed the king cobra with. If you're truly a snake village here.